Hello my fellow travelers, my name is Tildrell and in this video we have a real talk about Sino or Kino or Sino, however he will be called in the future. The fact is that he will be the next upcoming Electro main DPS character, he will be a 5 star so he is a supreme unit and in this video we will take a deep dive into his scalings, his numbers and everything so we can see how his kit works and if he's actually viable or not. So when we take a look at his base stats, we can see that he has uh, crit damage as his ascension stat, which is pretty mandatory as main DPS character. Main DPSs either want uh, crit rate or crit damage because those two stats are the hardest to get to come by. And um, his attack stat is pretty good when we compare it to another Electro main DPS like Kaching. You can see that Kaching has a little bit more attack, but not too much. It's just like three points more in attack. Shouldn't be too worrying. Um, all, all in all, pretty, pretty solid base stats. Nothing to complain about here. And before we go on and discuss his skills, I want to get something off my chest because there is some important information that you need to understand when we talk about Sino. He is not a five star Razor. Okay, you can't compare those two characters because Razor is a physical DPS that happens to do electro damage in addition to his massive physical damage. Okay, Sino or Kino or Sino will be a pure electro damage focusing main DPS. Okay, he's like Kaching in that sense, just with um, less mobility and hopefully more damage as trade off. But hey, we come to that conclusion uh, later in this video. Just be sure that you understand that um, Sino is no five star Razor, okay? They have nothing in common at all, except maybe their art style, because maybe Razor is some descendant of the tribe or something. Okay, now with that out of the way, when we take a look at his normal attack talent, we don't even need to discuss the scalings, we don't need to look at that, despite <laughs> with the short glance we can see that his scaling on his auto attack talent is abysmal, okay? Never use this talent and you don't have to use it anyway, because as I said you build him for electro damage, so his physical damage output will be bad anyway. You will never use those attacks right here. So save your resources, save your talent books, save your Mora, everything. Just ignore that talent. This is useless to level up and yeah, waste it. Just waste it. His E is a little bit more interesting because um, when you activate it, when your burst isn't running, you will just thrust forward and damage your opponents in a single line a little bit. Okay, but when your burst is running, and I know we come to his burst in a short while, uh, imagine it like this empowered state like Razor has, just better, okay? You don't um, thrust your spear forward in a straight line, no, you slash around yourself and do a pretty high amount of electro AOE damage. I mean, over 200% as AOE damage um, that you can, when you have his burst up and running, do um, every three seconds right here is amazing, okay? So you have uh, an, an AOE nuke or a pseudo nuke, it's not as high as Ganyu's charge shot for example, but you have an AOE nuke every three seconds um, in addition to his empowered um, burst auto, auto attacks, but we come to that in a short while, as I said. And the most important thing about his E is that when you're using it during his burst, you will prolong his burst's duration, okay? You really have to keep Sino in his burst form as long as humanly <laughs> possible, okay? Because this is where all of his damage is sitting. And because we talked about his burst so often now, let's finally go there. Sacred Rite, Wolf's Swiftness. This is basically his OP damage state that you want to prolong as long as possible, 
okay when you activate his burst uh, you get this new state that's called pack torn path clearer state and when you are in this state um, all your attacks will be converted into electro damage okay you gain uh, additional immunity to um interruption so when ruin guards are punching you or something else is hitting you real hard you don't stagger you don't get thrown around you just stand there and taking it like a man <laughs> you're taking it with your jaw or something yeah and um you gain immunity to electro charge damage which is odd because it's just one reaction it would have been re it, it would have been very cool to give him like immunity to everything electro related but yeah i mean we can't have everything before we discuss the actual damage numbers keep in mind that his burst has a maximum uptime of 18 seconds and a cooldown of 20 okay this is huge if the maximum duration would be like only at 15 seconds or even <laughs> the archons forbid only 10 seconds okay this character would be garbage because you need his burst to deal any damage at all okay so we understand each other the basic duration is only 10 seconds and this is where his e comes in okay you need to activate this mortuary strike whenever his burst is running or every three seconds and for for real don't let this one second window run out because when you wait for one second and you don't activate this mortuary strike your burst will end too soon and you waste precious seconds of godly damage so if we read this right you can activate this mortuary right two times during the duration of his burst to bump up this basic duration of 10 seconds to 18 seconds and this is vital for his playstyle don't miss out this one second activation window don't let it end too soon now to his actual damage numbers those are without exception the best damage conversion numbers the, this is the best scaling of any polearm user in this game ever if i'm mistaken let me know down in the comments but right off my head okay i can't think of any character that has such a good scaling that uses pole arms of, of course claymore characters have better scalings but normally pole arm characters don't get over 100 percent damage ratio okay and this guy is over that 100 percent rule multiple times this is just amazing okay and even his charged attack is not that bad given the fact that his normal attack chain is already pretty good of course rosaria is still charged attack queen i think but sino is close sino is very very close um yeah in addition to this uh pretty cool attack steroid and <laughs> a god of war state you get an elemental mastery bonus for free in his burst state uh, you you buff you boost your elemental mastery by 100 just by pressing his burst which is huge so every reaction he's triggering while his burst is running will be devastating for your enemies yeah pretty cool pretty cool cooldown 20 seconds uptime 18 seconds the only problem that you would run into if you're a newer player or if you don't build him correctly if that is that with an energy cost of 80 that maybe you don't achieve the 100 percent uptime in the best case scenario you would only have those two seconds of downtime of his burst and charged up energy as soon as uh, his burst is available again so you really have to achieve that because as i said before his normal attack talent is useless good now let's take a look at his talents his first talent is just an expedition boost an expedition buff but it's useless because like in azuma sumeru has nothing noteworthy of resources so this talent here is just wasted don't even use it just send your characters of Mondstadt and Leeuwen expeditions and ignore every other continent every other land by now his uh, first ascension passive is pretty interesting because as long as your burst is running you will enter a specific combat stance at intervals as long as your burst is running this stance is called Ants Year stance 
and when you cast your E, when you are in this stance, you will fire additional electro damage bolts and the damage of your E is even boosted by 35%. The only thing that bothers me a little bit is that there is no say on um, when this ends your stances are triggered. There is only uh, the information that it's triggered at certain intervals, but um, because of how his kit works, I think that those NCR stances will um, synchronize with the uptime of his E in this burst duration, so like every three seconds or something. So you have no problem at all to trigger those um, improved E casts. His second ascension passive is okay, but not as good as his first one, because now he gets an additional elemental mastery scaling, and I don't know what to think about it, because with Sino you already need attack, you need crit rate, you need crit damage, you need um, energy recharge, because otherwise you can't recharge those 80 energy in time for his burst to have a consistent uptime. And now you need to have elemental mastery in addition. I mean, the reward to build elemental mastery in addition to everything else is pretty good because uh, his uh, normal attack damage is increased by 125% of uh, his elemental mastery. And even those bolts that are fired uh, from his first ascension passive get a huge damage increase i mean 250 percent of his elemental mastery is pretty good it's more than double of your elemental mastery converted into pure damage okay but how should you build elemental mastery into his kit when you need so many other um, stats already the only cool thing is the uh, these um, 100 uh, free elemental mastery that you're getting whenever you activate this burst so it's already in use just from his burst alone. And this, yeah, it's 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 pretty good. It could, it could be better, but it's, it's good. Now let's go over his constellations. His constellation one is already super broken because whenever you activate his burst, you get a 20% attack speed increase, 20%. Nothing in this game was all, was so high in attack speed buffing until now and this is a self buff you don't even need another character to make him that strong 20 percent bonus attack speed will make him broken for 10 seconds okay and the best thing is when you trigger um these ncr stance swipes with his e when you sync them up then um this attack speed buff will get refreshed Okay, so everything works together in perfect synergy with his burst. This character has amazing synergy and I criticized Hoyoverse on that on, on so many occasions with so many characters and I can say from my heart that this character just works. There is no odd passive, there is no odd constellation, there is no bullshit built into his kit that makes him weaker than he could be except maybe <laughs> an infusion for his normal attacks in addition when you um fuck up your burst rotation but you you won't you will hit this one second window to refresh his burst so he doesn't need that then his constellation too when he attacks uh, his opponents with his normal attacks and I think his normal attacks are also his burst attacks. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think that this only are um, converted normal attacks. So it works with his burst form. Okay. He increases his crit rate and crit damage by 3% or 6% respectively. And this can stack up to five times. So he gets 15% crit rate and 30% crit damage for free. And I can say really honest, hand to my heart, that his constellation one and two are better than other constellation sixes on some characters that we have seen in the past, especially five-star characters. This is amazing. Now, his Constellation 3 is already a boost to his Elemental Burst, okay? I don't know what's up with Hoyolab, why they are so generous 
and so good in making characters all of a sudden. But normally, the Hoyo Lab, I know, okay, would have um, hidden this boost for the real important skill, okay, for his elemental burst in, in this case behind Constellation 5. But no, we get it as Constellation 3. This is so good. His Constellation 4 is more on the support side and he gets more team synergy. It's the only thing, it's the only Constellation, the only passive that he gets that's not increasing his own damage. So he, he gives a little bit out for his own team because now whenever he triggers a reaction that, it's ele that is electro-based, he restores three energy for his whole team except himself. This helps with your rotation, okay? He helps his whole team with Constellation 4. I mean, it's it's not needed because we have um, so many good weapons now av available that um, help with energy household and, and everything, but it's nice to have. His Constellation 5 is, I think, the most useless when you compare all his constellations with each other. And this constellation six is, let's say, quite underwhelming for what the character already is, because constellation sixes on most characters, when you compare it to Yalen, are those super over the top power boosts, okay? But since Saito is already so good, his constellation six is like, so, yeah. A, a little bit of bonus damage because now when you sync up um, his E-Strike with this um, passive right here where he gets this stance to get additional damage and everything, um, you gain those, how are they called? Uh, Day of the Jackal stacks. And um, for every stack that he has, he will fire one additional Electro Bolt from his first Ascension passive with every auto attack. To be honest, his Constellation 6 isn't really that needed. You are good to go with Constellation 1 and 2 and maybe 3 because it's already boosting his Elemental Burst. You don't need more. And yeah, to sum everything up, now that I went through his kit again and explained it out for you, I really want that character. I mean, I have Kaching at Constellation 2 or 3 already, so I, I would have an Electro main DPS to pair with a Dendro character for those crazy new damage reactions. But holy shit, Sino isn't as mobile as Kaching, but he will top the damage charts. I can tell you, he's, he's like a 10 out of 10 main DPS character. If you uh, can pull off this little bit of skill required of prolonging his burst with those um, e-activation time windows. But A, everybody can do that. It's, it's pretty easy. Okay, so when you look for a good main DPS character, just summon for Sino. This dude will wreck faces and he, he, he will definitely be in the in the meta so 10 out of 10 hoyoverse outdid themselves i hope i could help you in your future summoning decisions with that and of course i hope that we see each other in my other videos as well bye